mostly works. This needs to be sorted. The battery and the alternator need to be connected because the battery is running out of juice. These seem to be pretty doing pretty well. Just balance them a little bit. Um, yeah, the, the, the thermostat's working now, so this is all all the water, the hot water's come out. But they probably need topping up and fitting. Well, so it's got a better fit. That's a bit dodgy. It works, but it's next to the exhaust manifold. Um, yeah. I'll take another video in the daylight. So that's my 2.2 Ford Pinto overhead camshaft. It's got a day visored um, cylinder head. Um, larger than the standard stainless steel one piece valves, which are um, machined to have a thin stem. It's got standard camshaft, aluminium retainers, normal springs. Um, V6 aluminium pistons, cast aluminium pistons that is, uh, diesel connecting rods, longer centre to centre and uh, an offset ground standard crankshaft which has uh, been heat treated. Uh, yeah, standard flywheel which has had about half the weight removed. So that's a very light unit. Standard alternator. This is a electric fan and um, radiator combination of a Sierra, Ford Sierra. That's a Ford Sierra um, expansion tank. It's got a vernier pulley, adjustable. That's by Aislinger Engineering. It's got the timing marks degree there. It's got one of my own uh, bolt and washer combos. Standard water pump. Aislinger aluminium degreed uh, crank pulley, standard auxiliary shaft pulley, it's a standard Bosch distributor, um, and that has got a copper, all the terminals on the, on the cap are copper, solid copper. These are Taylor um, 8mm. Um, what are they called again? Spyro Pro. That's it. Uh, these are nice. These are from um, the boots, and the plug boots are from. Um, <coughs> where are they from? I can't remember the name now, but high quality rubber these are. And it's got standard points in there. It's not electronic. These are 45. DHLA Delauta carburetors, 38mm chokes, KN air filters, Magard twin cable throttle linkage, uh, high flow inlet manifold. This has been uh, matched to the carburetors and also matched to the head. It's got a Felpro head gasket, stainless steel um, engine lifting eyes, standard 12 volt non ballast ignition coiled. Um, there's a little fuel pump regulator. That's the fuel pump there. Just a facet. Standard 0.85 kilowatt starter motor. Fortunately, unfortunately, this isn't strong enough for the engine. It's standard, it's good, but because the engine's got a higher than a standard compression ratio, um, this starter motor is uh, not strong enough. It's 0.85 kilowatt. The one I need is 1.4 kilowatt and um, there's my battery down there just a standard Lucas 12 volt battery to do with a recharge got my little gauge thing going on down there uh, water temperature oil pressure revs it's not connected standard screw in oil filter um, breather valve not connected yet um, Got mishap spaces between the carbs here, and um, 
NGK spark plugs, 4 2 to 1 tubular exhaust manifold. This has been modified on the flanges, and the material has been added on the outer of the flanges, and then the exhaust manifold has been worked from within to open it out to match the, the ports, which have also been opened out to meet the cometic uh, gaskets, the large cometic gaskets. And uh, standard oil filler cap. What else? Standard thermostat housing. Standard tin sump. Um, I think that's about it. Cool plugs have been tapped in to um, keep them in so they don't fall out. And that's it. What this needs is. Uh, a cam of some sort. I was looking at the RL31 by Kent Cams as a kit. And I think that would be a good cam for a, a light road go road going car. So uh, yeah, I might post this on eBay. I might not, or YouTube, whatever it is. Cheerio.